right now, I want to talk about driving. I love to drive. I don't know about you. Some people don't like to drive. Do you like to drive? Anybody? Yeah. I, I love to drive. I have always loved to drive. Since I was 12 years old, I have loved to drive. <laughs> I would drive, they, they were at work, I, I was sick. I was at home and I would just drive up and down the street when I was 12. I'm a good driver though. I know all the rules of the road. I, um, you know, you have to use your turn signal and you have to use your seatbelt and you always have to go the speed limit when a cop is watching. And um, I found out something though that surprised me and I think it may surprise you. I don't know, unless you have children. Um, first of all, uh, do you know where you're supposed to keep your hands on the steering wheel? Yes. Yes. What is it, ma'am? 10 and two. Well, except for uh, then uh, the, um, the daylight savings is 11 and 3. Um, um, but that's what I thought, too, is 10 and 2. And then uh, the whole, my whole life, that's what they taught us. And, uh, but then I just found out they teach 16-year-olds to keep their hands at 4 and 8. That's how they're teaching. Does anyone have uh, kids that just took the test? Did you know that? Yeah. I, yeah. Exactly. You argued, you said put them at, at, at 10 and 2, and they're like, you have to go at 4 and 8. Which, by the way, do 16 years olds, do they know how to read a clock? They don't even know how to read a clock. <laughs> that means nothing to them, to 8 and what, 4. Um, but this is true. So you have to keep your hands at the bottom of the steering wheel when you drive, which feels so awkward to me. I would never drive my, like that. Well, I, with my knees, when I'm doing makeup in the car, <laughs> I have my, my knees and I'm drinking my coffee. Uh, they say the advantage to keeping your hands at 4 and 8 is it reduces muscle fatigue. That's what they say. <laughs> Makes sense. Because, you know, I used to always show up everywhere sweaty and out of breath from holding my hands. <laughs> Just exhausting. How out of shape are you that this? <laughs> Sometimes, though, when you don't work out for a while, do you ever, and, and be honest, do you ever get sore from washing your hair? Your arms are like. <laughs> That's when you're really not working out, when you get sore from washing your hair. Um, anyway, another reason they say to keep your hands at four and eight is it protects your arms from being injured in an airbag uh, if it deploys. So, and, uh, and I think it, to be safe, keep your knees out of the window just to be safe for your knees too. You don't want to risk that. Let's be honest, regardless whether you thought it was 10 and two or four and eight, most of us drive with one hand at noon until we see a cop. That's how we drive. 